Well, I would assume that he's home, but I've always, when we reacted to him and he was in the setting, mm -hmm. I thought he was at a hotel. Yeah, it does have that so, look. It's very. I don't know when this was recorded. Yeah, it's very put together. It looks like one of those, you know, when you go into those newly built neighborhoods and they have that one house that you go and it show they show it to you it's or like whatever. A showroom like house. a showroom house. Yeah, it's very put together. It's very. So if he's got it going on like this, I'd like to see the rest of his house. That'd be really sweet. But yeah, it's a yeah, nice. Yeah, because I, I assume that he's. I know that he is home by now. Yeah. But I don't know where this was recorded, mm -hmm. and we did get a few few reactions to him during AGT when he was in the same setting. Yeah. So this has got to be somebody's house. It's either his or somebody, one of his relatives. Yeah. Or maybe this was just recorded around that time frame and we're just getting it released now. Uh, if you guys know, let it's us know mystery. in the comments. But yeah, it's a mystery. That we would like to know. We don't like mysteries that go unsolved, okay? <laughs> I used to watch to Unsolved Mysteries, and my <gasps> least favorite episodes were the ones that would end, and the mystery still unsolved. I'm solved. like, gosh. Yeah, it. it would be the worst, actually. That was a really good show. I remember Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about Jess. <laughs> um, when I had my own room, I had a TV in my room. My sister got the stereo, and I got the TV. Don't ask me how that was, but we we're twins, so we had to split stuff. Okay. <laughs> So the TV was in my room. Um, every time Ellen Solved Mysteries would come on, I'd have to go take a shower or go get ready really quick. Every time there was a commercial on, I would run in there, take a shower really quick, just to run back before it came back on. It was like a little a little game that I gave myself because I love Unsolved Mysteries so much. So you would be watching Unsolved Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I got this correct. Yeah. You would be like, commercial. I have literally three commercials, yeah. four commercials to, to get take into my the shower. shower and get back out. Okay, see, I was taking long showers even yeah. as a teenager. Not during Unsolved Mysteries, it. I wasn't. I wouldn't have made that it. That was the fastest shower I've ever taken. I would have failed this game every single time. <laughs> but I, I'm, I was pretty Dude, good at it. You still like crime and mystery stuff. I don't know where we got off on crime and mystery stuff <laughs> and a Gabriel reaction, but hey, we're here this now. Is this is gone too far. It's this gone is where too we're far. At. <laughs> Anyways, this is Earth Song, Gabriel Henrique, cover by Michael Jackson originally. This just dropped three hours ago, Jess. What? We need to crank the views up on yes, it, though, y'all. 16K views. No, we can do it better than that. It needs to be at 100K. Mm -hmm, definitely. So, we're going to make an agreement right here. We'll add 10 views. You guys add 10 views. And if we see... We'll guarantee it, okay? We, we know how to check these things. If you add your 10 views, we'll go back and add another 10. Another 10 on top on of us. that. It'll just so that's be a 20 back and total. Game. 10 from me, 10 from her, 10 from you. And then once you get our 20, you guys do 30. Wow. And then when we see your 30, we'll do 10 more and up Again, it to 40. This is a crazy plan, but it just might work, y'all. <laughs> Seriously though, go support Gabriel, go support this official video. We've got links for everything in the description, in the pinned comment. Let's get into it. Let's do it. I want this jacket. I want all of his clothes he ever wears. Is that, is that weird? No. It's a nice dress I need man. a new wardrobe. What about sunrise? What about the rain? What about all the things that you say the words again? <laughs> what about killing fields? Is there time? What about all the things that you say was yours and mine? Did you ever stop to notice all the brother we shared before? Did you ever stop to notice? It's quite this epic chance. Jeez, dude. I'm Me. honestly not too familiar with this song. I've only heard it like one time ever. This I... song is before my time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I was born in 87, we both were, but I'm pretty sure this came out before then. And it's not really a song that would play on the radio or anything. So this is... I'm really not familiar with it at all. I'm not familiar with how it flows and everything mm -hmm. like that. But, man, this is beautiful so that, far. That part just then was absolutely stunning. I love the way he sings and brings it in. But, yeah. like, definitely this song, um, 
Michael Jackson was really good at getting a, a message across when he was singing in a lot of his songs. Like a lot of his songs had a really good message and I feel like this is just another one. Like he just had a really, I feel like he had a really kind heart and it showed in his music and I think this is one of those songs. We actually got recommended to react to Michael's official version on I think Earth Day or something last year and we never got around to it. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, we've, we've been meaning to react to this song from Michael Jackson for a while mm -hmm. and we haven't. Beautiful. I was your dream. I used your place beyond the stars. Now I don't know where we are. I know we know. Pretty far. Ooh, <laughs> it's just in making noises, but it's wonderful, man. What? I could listen to a whole song of just this. I think that's what we're doing. <laughs> Okay, first of all, he's taking us on this journey of listening to him sing that one part over and over again, and it is stunning. And then he just throws in the high note. I love when he does that because yeah. it still shocks me. I can't like I know it's coming at some point in the in the in the song, it's gonna come, but I don't know when. And then it comes, and I'm like, <gasps> yeah, it kind of took me because I was getting really into the lyrics right? that he's singing, and then like. It seems like a very impactful song, mm -hmm. and I love songs like that that have very deep, meaningful, impactful lyrics on our world. Mm -hmm. So I'm like into the song, getting more into the lyrics. Yeah. I'm like, what about what? Yeah. Oh, what about this? Okay, <laughs> what then, about what? Boom. Hits And yeah. then he hits me with that. I was like, like <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, my 
goodness. Why? You know, it's very hard. People do this in the comments all mm-hmm. the time. They're like, you know, this artist is better than this artist and this artist is better than this artist, especially when you're dealing with people covering the same song. Mm-hmm. And, you know, today we released So Young, Never Enough. We're getting a lot of hateful comments from other people's uh, fans saying like, hey, this this is okay, but this person sung it better. We've been told that Gabriel sings Never Enough, you know. I'm, I'm making a point with this, so just stay with stay me, okay? With me. You're going to end in some positivity, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm just back to unsolved mysteries here. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's like, okay, it doesn't really matter to me who sings it better. I'm not trying to compete. It's very hard when you're doing a React channel because you're reacting to all these different artists. Yeah. A lot of them choose to cover the same songs, so it's bound to happen. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these other artists that we cover, they have gigantic fan bases. And if they do a show, then they have hundreds of thousands of people sometimes showing up for these shows, paying hundreds, thousands of dollars to see them. And me personally, I think Gabriel is on that level. Like he is just as good, not trying to compare. He's just as good, if not better. And he's right in that same realm as all these people. You guys know what I mean. And why does he not have that same recognition? Like, we've only reacted to cover songs from him, so is it because he doesn't have his original, his own original music yet? Yeah. Or is it because he doesn't have, like, a good marketing team behind him? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Because he seems like an artist with his level of vocal talent. He seems like he should be performing at stadiums. Absolutely. Sold out Selling stadiums. Out. I guarantee All around the freaking out. world. Yeah. Like, his voice... Music is is the thing that connects us all. Mm-hmm. It transcends all borders and all languages, and and like everybody around the world, um, you know. And it's it's very hard not to compare. But I am gonna pull up Dimash in this conversation because Dimash has fans from. We get comments from everywhere. everywhere. We get comments from Brazil. Yeah, people that are fans of Dimash in Brazil, Russia, China, Japan, the uh, Korea, like everywhere. And Gabriel seems like one of those artists that should have that level of recognition. Absolutely. You know, his his YouTube channel has over 500,000 subscribers now, so he's gaining popularity on YouTube at least. Mm-hmm. But as far as like selling out shows, why is this not happening? Yeah. I need to know. Yeah. Like the we only do, uh... thing that I can see from the outside, and I don't even know if this is true because yeah. we haven't reacted to everything from him, yeah. is that he doesn't have his own like album out. Is that it? Is that like the only thing that's holding him back from that next level or, you know, it's just so, so confusing yeah, to me. Yeah, it is. Because he's, he's, he's popular. He's, he's absolutely stunning. His his vocal range is amazing. If yeah. he did come out with his album, I would so look, his own album, I would so look forward to hearing it just because of his his range and everything, his tone, his, his sound is so beautiful. I feel like anything that he could sing, like I jokingly said, what did I say the other day? It's a small world after all or something. Yeah, he can Jess sing that. Like, he can sing And I would literally anything. listen to that over the and over again. The song you said, yeah. like, okay, but... <laughs> Like, I get what you're saying, and I agree. Like he could literally be one of the biggest superstars this world has ever seen. Yeah. With with the right people behind him pushing him, with the right songs of his own, and you know some people like Elvis. You're a huge Elvis fan. Oh yeah. I learned recently Elvis never wrote one song of his own. Yeah. Like even if Gabriel isn't gonna write his own music, he needs to get somebody that he can have make some freaking music of his own yeah. a ghost writer or whatever you want to call somebody on his team that's going to write some music for him that he can bring to the world or something if yeah. that's even it yeah like i he could have his own album and you guys could let me know in the description like no he has his own music and then that We've means we will uncover some secrets and yeah. i like that because we won't know about it right now so i'm i'm excited if that's if that's the case but Going back to just who Gabriel is, I feel like I don't know who chooses his songs on most of his stuff, but uh, like I feel like he chooses those songs and he chooses it with this this heart and this mindset for the world. I just feel like you can see it. Like he doesn't make a lot of expressions when he sings, which is such a mystery to me. He's very mysterious in that way. And then when he ends the song, it's almost like he's super emotional in his eyes, but he's super straight face. Like just in that <laughs> one right there, he looked like he was very teary eyed, but it was a very it's a very um, em- 
impactful song. It's a song that's about our whole world. It's not just going to one region or one area of people. It's the whole world in general. It's, it's, he's, Michael Jackson was singing about all of us and connecting all of us. Like, what about this? If we don't have this, if we're not doing this, you know what I mean? Like a call to action kind of. And I just feel like it's, it's awesome that he chooses those songs to cover as well with the voice that he has. So maybe he doesn't have his own material just yet, but the things that he's choosing to use his gift for are like good, impactful songs that we've reacted to. Like, I, th- I just think that's so awesome about him. I feel like he has a purpose for that, but. And maybe he doesn't want to be a world so- worldwide superstar mm-hmm. like a Michael Jackson. Cause you know, Michael Jackson, I, like I consider Gabriel's voice to be that good. Yeah. You know, like, and Michael Jackson is one of the most famous musicians, uh, singers ever in this world. And I feel like Gabriel's on that level. So that's the only thing that makes sense to me is that he doesn't have his own Earth song or his own freaking Billie Jean. Yeah, or yeah. Like, he needs this really banging, like, star-studded album yeah, to, to, to set bring out there. maybe. You're right. And that's what would, like... There, it just seems like there's something that's holding him back from reaching that next level. Yeah. Because it's definitely not his voice. No. His it's voice not is him. insane. Yeah. It's literally the best of the best. So oh my gosh. It is. He could be stunning. selling out worldwide stadiums. Yeah. All over the world. Like just a quick question that we had, y'all, and I yeah. know y'all will let us know in the comment section if he has anything that's hidden underneath that we never knew about, and it's locked in a vault, and you guys have the key, and you can unlock it for us, and then bring it out to the light and dust it off. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Okay. Catch your breath. Catch your breath, <laughs> Jess. All right, y'all. We hope you enjoyed that reaction. Don't forget to go and support Gabriel directly. I know you will. Yes. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.